Today's Pro Tip Tuesday is brought to you by Brian, Kilo Foxtrot 8 Alpha Sierra Echo Ham Radio Supply. Brian is manufacturing premium chokes with premium materials so that we can deal with any noise that we have in our shack. We have a super version 1500 watt single sideband voice 1000 digital. I think I'll probably return this to Brian. I don't have a radio that will put this out, a radio amp combination. So unless one of you wants to send me an amplifier, I think I'll send this back to Brian. This cost him several dollars to put together and I don't have a use for it. I do want you to see that that is an offering from Brian. We have the Oda version, which will do 300 and 100, 300 single sideband voice 100 digital and then we have the QRP at 150 that QRP version well that's just slightly bigger than the ballpoint pen that I carry around in my pocket this will always go with me on my POTA activations from this point forward RFI can come into our shacks from other devices that we might be utilizing wall warts wall chargers are common for putting off RFI. In my shack, I have a lot of electronic devices, especially with my YouTube channel. I work really hard at getting those devices clean so I don't have to use ferrite beads. And I would say in your shack with RFI, that is always a preferred solution. But when that doesn't get the job done, using ferrite beads is absolutely one of the methods that you can use. And you can put this right on the back of your radio where the coax comes into your radio. Other people will use chokes for their antennas. Say you don't install an antenna with a ground system, which of course is considered a no-no, and there'll be certain YouTubers out there that scold you for that, and that's probably an accurate thing to do. But some manufacturers do tout antenna systems that are no radial, vertical systems, no less. I own one of them. And I have shown that it works, but it's using your coax as your grounding system, which means you're losing some efficiency. If you're going to do that, you're going to get some RFI back into your shack. So I always deploy that antenna with a choke right at the antenna feed point and a choke at my radio in the shack. You can choke at both places. So these chokes will assist with RFI and they will assist with common mode current. I personally find them most effective in dealing with common mode current. I always deploy portable with a choke on my coax. So I would recommend that you do the same and I recommend that you find a manufacturer of a ferrite choke that you trust. And Ryan sent me these chokes free of charge, no obligation. He didn't ask me to do a video review or to talk to you. He just asked me, Bob, tell me what you think of the quality of my work. Well, I'm so impressed by the materials and the craftsmanship that I wanna share it with you because I think it's worthy of your consideration. Brian has chosen fair right, fair right material for his cores and his beads. He's chosen messy and poloni coax, and he's chosen messy and poloni fittings. Additionally, the shrink wrap on this is very high quality marine grade. This is very well put together. And I'm gonna tell you right now, these chokes are absolutely worthy of your consideration. I consider this some of the best quality material made by a ham for hams. Brian has listings in Amazon. He also has an Etsy store and I'll leave links in the description below so that you can navigate to his pages if you're in need of a good high quality choke. And these are good high quality chokes. Thanks for stopping by for another Pro Tip Tuesday. I'll talk to you soon friends, 73.